Okay, in this first video, what we're going to be looking at is the difference between what is meant by income and what is meant by wealth. So when we're looking at wealth, we're looking at a measure of the net worth of somebody. So it's basically a measure of how much a person has in savings, investments, real estate, and cash. So it's all the assets they have at a particular point in time. Those investments may include superannuation as well, um, minus any debts they have at that point in time. So all the things they own, all the money in their savings account, all the investment they have in properties and other assets or um, superannuation, minus any debt they have at that point in time. And that, that debt might be a mortgage, credit card debts, etc. Income, income is the flow of, of cash or non-cash remuneration. So basically you can receive cash or you may receive other forms of income in the forms of cars or holidays. Um, receive from either your work, so you might receive a wage or a salary from the job that you do. Any investments you have, so you might receive some interest or dividends or profits on your investments. Um, any return you get from rent on your land. Um, and it's generally recorded on a yearly basis. So it's the cash or non-cash remuneration you receive from your working, but also any um, things you get in other forms of um, in, um, income from interest and dividends, etc. So you need to think about the difference between these two concepts. Unlike income, which is measured on a yearly, monthly, or weekly basis, basis, wealth is accumulated over a period of time. So someone's net wealth at a particular point in time is $500,000 or $600,000 or $800,000. Um, inheritance is a large source of wealth for many people, and it's also why there's such a large discrepancy in wealth, because there's some people inherit a lot of money and therefore very wealthy, while others um, don't inherit any money. Examples of wealth might include any cars that you've got, money in the bank, land, uh, if you own a boat, shares, clothes, TVs or furniture, uh, any superannuation you have at a point in time you've accumulated for when you get older, um, you might own your own business, that would be a form of wealth, and any properties you own at that point in time. So wealth is not a flow of money, it's a stock of money at a particular point in time. In terms of income, income can come from a whole range of sources. It may come from owning a business and the profit you get from running your own business. Um, it may come from labor, so providing labor to, um, not to earn a salary or a wage. Um, you might get interest on your bank account. You may get dividends on your shares. You may get royalties from singing songs. And you can also get rent from land or properties. So there are a whole range of different forms of income. We're going to talk about each of these different forms of income in this video, including wages, salaries, rent. Um, you may get money from the government, uh, fringe benefits, which we'll talk about. If you can get paid on commission, interest, child support, profits, dividends, royalties, and capital gains. We're going to talk about what each of these means individually. So starting with a wage, basically a wage is monetary compensation by an employer to an employee in exchange for the work that they do. In terms of what is meant by a wage, wages are generally paid on an hourly basis. So you might get paid $15 or $20 or $30 per hour, and the more hours you work, the more you get paid. So what the difference between a wage, a wage is paid on a week on an week on an hourly basis, sorry, whereas a salary, a salary is a fixed payment. Typically you receive on a monthly or an annual sum um, made to an employer to an employee. So basically what you do is you get paid on a yearly basis. So it's not about how many, it's not based on how many hours you work. You're not getting paid per hour. You're getting paid a, um, a yearly sum of money per year. So um, the difference is you don't generally get paid more if you work overtime if you're on a salary, where you would if you were on a wage. And they both come from labor. The sec third type, rent. So rent's a type of income that a tenant pays to a landlord to live in his property. So it would be a form of income if you're receiving rent from um, your tenant for any property that you have. Welfare is a government program which provides financial aid to individuals or groups who can't support themselves. So welfare can come in the form of unemployment benefits, um, the pension, the age pension, can come in youth allowance, um, might do the disability support pension. So wealth is just, um, sorry, welfare is just money transferred from the government um, to individuals. Age pension is a taxpayer funded retirement income, so money that you get when you're retired if you're on the pension, um, if you meet certain criteria. So often you only get access to the age pension if you have under a certain amount of assets, which means that it's means tested. Fringe benefits. Fringe benefits is an extra benefit that you receive on top of your normal wage. So it's a non-cash benefit that you might get on top of your salary. So that might include a company car, private health insurance, holidays, etc. Um, commissions. Commissions are earned as part of your salary, so they're basically based on a percent um, as part of the salary based on a percentage of the sales you make. So commissions is a form of income that you get based on your performance. 
um, and it's based generally on you know, level of sales. So real estate agents will get a commission per house they sell, car salesmen will get a commission per car they sell, um, etc. Interest, interest is money earned from keeping savings in a deposit or savings account or a term deposit um, and it's a form of income you receive for your savings. Child support, child support would be money received from an ex-partner to help support children. Profits, if you run your own business, if you're a sole proprietor and your business earns revenue that's greater than their expenditure, then you receive a profit. Dividends, dividends are a form of income you receive on shares. So basically when companies make a profit, they often redistribute a lot of those profits in the form of dividends to their shareholders because they're the owners of those companies. So it's a sum of money paid regularly by a company to its shareholders out of their profits. Capital gains, capital gains you receive when you sell a property or another investment like shares for a price higher than what you brought it for. So if you you know, brought a house for $500, an investment property, and you sold it for $800,000, then you would receive a capital gain of $300,000. So a capital gain is when you sell an investment property for a higher price than what you brought it for, or when you sell shares for a higher price than what you brought them for, you make a capital gain. Royalties. Royalties are money paid for the use for a patent, patentee for the use of a patent. So basically, they they use they're, Type of income you receive when people use your work. So if you're an author or a composer, you might get a royalties for every book you sell. You might get it for every time somebody uses your performance or sings your song. It's um, because you have exclusive rights over that um, that your material. Um, in other last two terms, gross versus disposable income. Gross income is the amount of or salary you receive before you. Um, get taxed, so it's before any deductions like taxes and superannuation. Disposable income is the amount of money that households have after income taxes have been accounted for. Thank you.